Gen V takes place after the events of Season 3 and before the events of Season 4 of The Boys. The story begins with Marie Moreau and her family watching A-Train join the Seven, and Marie has her first period, but she also has the ability to control blood, and she accidentally ends up killing her parents, and her sisters sat there in shock. Then skip forward 8 years and we see Marie in the Red River Institute, and she gets accepted into Godolkin University, or God U, a place where future soups are trained and educated to become the heroes that they are destined to be. Marie then meets her roommate Emma Meyer, who has the ability to go really small by puking out the food within her. She's also an influencer. They then head to an event where they see the highest ranking students in God U, and Golden Boy is the top ranked student and his power is to glow and is really strong. And Marie finds out that she hasn't been accepted into the crime fighting course and is forced to do drama instead along with Emma. Marie then goes to confront Professor Brink about her not being accepted and she meets Jordan Lee, a fellow student who has the ability to switch gender and each gender has different abilities. Marie and Andre Anderson then stop a guy from running away from the school and Andre Anderson is the second ranked hero in the school and has magnetic powers. The next morning Andre invites her to hang out with him along with Golden Boy Kate Dunlap and Jordan Lee as they are sneaking out of the school for some fun. Then Andre is flirting with some woman and he accidentally cuts another woman. Marie then steps in and saves the woman using her blood control powers. This then boosts Marie's popularity but Brink wants her to take the fall for Andre's mishap and he also says that she will be expelled. She then returns later to confront him about the expulsion but she catches Golden Boy having killed Brink and he chases after Marie and Jordan steps in and fights Golden Boy. Andre himself then steps in to stop Golden Boy. He whispers something into Andre's ear before exploding himself. Vaught and Ashley try to cover up Golden Boy's death saying that he was mentally unstable and gives Marie sole credit for fighting him which pisses off Jordan. Marie then becomes the first freshman ever to be ranked within the top 10 students and she's a massive celebrity within the school and she meets the university's dean Indira Shetty. Emma then befriends Justine who exposes Emma's powers to the internet which annoys Emma. Marie then joins the crime fighting class along with Andre, Kate and Jordan. Andre and Kate then decide that they want to track down the cause of Golden Boy's death and they find out that his brother Sam is trapped in a facility under the school known as the Woods and that facility is under the control of Shetty. Marie and Andre were supposed to do press as the guardians of Godolkin but instead Andre breaks off and examines Brink's evidence to find more evidence about the Woods. Marie then finds out that Vaught had tracked down her sister but it turns out that her sister wants nothing to do with her. Andre then locates the woods but is caught by the guards and Kate arrives to help him and her power is the ability to control people after she touches them. We then see a flashback of Sam who is being visited by Golden Boy and Kate and he is enraged to find out the truth about Compound V. Andre and Kate then get it on. I wouldn't have put this up if it didn't become important later down the line. Marie then finds a fatigued Emma who had puked herself so small that she was practically invisible as she was depressed as her so called eating disorder had been leaked to the internet. Marie and Emma then argue. A fundraiser is being held in honour of Brink and Marie goes with Chetty. Emma's mother then tries to talk her into doing a reality show, but she refuses. Jordan's parents are also disappointed at the fact that their son could now become a girl, which leads to a moment where Jordan, Emma, Kate and Marie talk about their past. Andre then convinces Emma to help him infiltrate the woods and she breaks in and meets Sam before crawling into a guard's ear. But Emma won't crawl into your ear if you subscribe. Sam and Emma escape and hide out in an abandoned drive through Sam then sees delusions of a puppet of Deep convincing him to kill Cardoza, a scientist who had tortured Sam in the woods. Emma then returns to God you to warn everyone. However, Marie doesn't know where she is and then she asks the help of a psychic student known as Rufus, but he essentially roofies her. Marie essentially escapes by making his goods explode. Celebrity soup Robert Vernon aka Tech Knight comes to school to find the whole truth about what happened with Golden Boy. He interrogates Marie who breaks down and reveals that it was in fact Jordan who had full golden boy. Not her. Tech Knight then interrogates Shetty as he finds out that Sam had escaped. He then blackmails him to leave saying that she will leak footage of him while finding holes and then um. <laughs> Sam has tracked down Cardosa and is about to kill him and his family but Marie and the gang show up and try to convince him but then they end up fighting and suddenly Marie blacks out and wakes up in a bed next to Jordan. Marie and the gang then find themselves at a party except for the fact that none of them remember being at this party and they're also confused as to what's happening since they had blacked out for multiple days. Emma had also found out that she has the ability to go really big if she eats a lot of food. Cardosa meets with Shetty and says that the soup virus is going along really well and he wishes to use it on Marie but Shetty reveals that Marie is off limits as she has a mysterious benefactor and also she has other plans for her. Kate then blames Rufus for blacking them out and the gang then decide to track him down. Sam had also met with Emma who doesn't recognize him but Emma feels as though she knows him. Marie realizes that she has this tracking device in her and takes it out. She then goes to tell Kate about what happened but we find out that it was Kate who was making everyone forget about everything. Jordan and Marie who has forgotten everything go to confront Rufus about the truth and Sam reveals to Emma that it was Kate who keeps making everyone forget about him. Emma calls Marie and tells her the truth and Andre 
arrives and is about to fight Rufus but Katie arrives and apologizes to everyone about the lies. She restores everyone's memories but then has a seizure where she traps everyone in her mind. And we meet Soldier Boy who is supposedly her dream crush or imaginary boyfriend or something. Golden Boy exposed Kate for cheating on him with Andre even before his death and Golden Boy attacks them. They then enter Jordan's memory where they see the time when Golden Boy almost kills Brink but they stop him and they get promoted to his new assistant. We also see this really cool shot of both genders interacting with each other. We then see a memory of the time Shetty had met with Kate before joining God Yu and Shetty says that she doesn't fear Kate and she gives the motherly love that Kate craves so much. We then see a memory of the countless times when Kate had made Golden Boy forget about Sam before we arrive at Marie's memory where she talks to her sister about her parents death and Marie encourages Kate to wake up and she does freeing the group. Sam arrives and plans on killing Kate but Emma calms him down and we see that the soup virus has worked perfectly and killed one of the soups in the wood and Shetty though she seems scared of it at first plans on making it contagious. Marie and Jordan then break into Shetty's office where they find out that Shetty's daughter and husband had been on the flight that Homelander had taken down in season one of the boys and this is the reason as to why she hates superheroes. They plan to use this as evidence to give to Newman who's having a meeting at God U. Cardoso comes in and pees in Shetty's bottle. This has no importance to the plot but it does make you think how many times he has done this. Shetty then asks for the help of Grace Mallory in administrating the virus. Mallory says that Shetty has gone insane and she also talks about how Shetty is blinded with vengeance a lot like a certain British CIA agent she knows of. And Mallory calls someone telling them about the virus. Andre's father Polarity who is a famous Vought superhero suffers a seizure and ends up being taken to the hospital. Emma then leaves Sam to hide while she goes to get food and supplies. But Sam decides to go on a wonder and sees other students having some fun in the corridor and joins in. They then take him to a Newman rally and they start chanting saying soup's life matters and all that stuff. Newman is then forced to evacuate as things got out of hand and as she leaves she catches Marie and the two then meet in a private room where we find out that Marie's powers are similar or in fact the same as Newman's and Newman is in fact the mysterious benefactor behind Marie. Marie then tells her about the soup virus and how Shetty plans on ending all of the soups and Newman tells her to stop being a hero now so that she can become a real hero once Marie is in a position of power. Kate then kills Shetty after she forces her to tell the truth about God you to everyone. It turns out that the students at God you aren't students but instead lab rats who are being observed by Shetty. Carlos then gives Newman the virus before he gets his head popped. Ashley then meets with God you trustees over how to spin Golden Boy's death and also looks at the next member of the seven. Kate and Sam then suddenly switch and decide to kill all humans before the humans kill them and they head to the woods and free all the captives. This then leads to all out chaos in the campus as soups in the woods are being told by Kate to attack all the humans but not the soups. Marie has now leveled up her powers after that talk with Newman and we see Sam keep getting hallucinations of Golden Boy telling him to stop doing this but Kate manages to remove all emotions from him. Andre then finds out that the reason behind his father's seizure was because of brain damage caused by him using his powers too much. Andre then tries to tell his dad the truth about the seizures but his dad convinces Andre to become the new polarity and he joins the fight against the crazy soups. Kate then tries to reach out to brainwash Jordan but Marie explodes her arm and Homelander arrives to calm everything down. He then questions Marie about if she likes attacking her own kind before blasting her with his lasers. She then wakes up in a sealed hospital room along with Jordan, Emma and Andre. Then we see Homelander watch the news who portray Marie, Emma and Jordan as the villains behind the attack and Sam and Kate are the new guardians of Godolkin. Then in a post credit scene we see Billy Butcher himself arrive at the woods. Subscribe and comment below your favourite part of Gen V.